this disabled gaming reviews let's play it's best enjoyed in front of a computer monitor and or tablet with the speakers on and to any epileptics out there please watch this in a well-lit environment to reduce the risk of any potential seizures this DJR place party is also unofficially sponsored by boom and mini boom in air so boom and mini boom are a geek boutique where if you're looking for things like dragon ball mugs alien figurines etc etc definitely check them out did I also mention that they're an official Warhammer retailer? So if you're looking for extra fire team squads to add to your Tau army, definitely check them out. They are located opposite Airbus Station. Look out for the Deadpool statue. Links to Boom and Mini Boom's Facebook page is in the video's description below. Now, with all that aside, please enjoy the video. Hello everyone, Sparkman and Nate and Nate of Disabled Game Reviews here and welcome to part 5 of my Let's Play of Half-Life 2 Episode 1 for the PC again sponsored by Boom and Mini Boom and Air so um, last time we are we rose to the streets of City 17 where we had to fight both the Combine and the Outlines on Street to Street Combat and um, yep so, um, with me, I've got my little co-pilot over here, and uh, would you like to, so, would you like, um, hey everyone, Miles Test Pro, all the way from Kid Robot in Miami here. Okay, so, and Tails, three, two, one, start the timer. Timer started, 45 minutes, good luck. Yeah, it looks at all. That's what we need.
What are you still doing here? Everyone should clear out of the city. The Combine's not making it easy. We're trying to get enough people together to force our way through to the train station. People are meeting up in a safe house nearby. Can you take us there? You bet. Let's go. This way. Bit of a delayed reaction there, but... Hey, it's me. Open the door. What's the password? I'm not even gonna tell you to shut up. Come on in. Previously, certain protein chains important to Just the process of all embryonic you're to do development is were selectively prevented from forming. Sorry. This is no longer the you're case. Daughter, for those right? so inclined, uh, now would be an excellent cut. time for procreation. Which is to say, in layman's terms, is you Dr. should give Kleiner serious really consideration telling to doing your part for the revival of the get species. Busy? We must make the most of the time we have, as it is by no means certain how much time we have secured ourselves before the Combine attempt to restore their dominion, as they certainly shall. Since this is... What the hell? Let's find another way up. The Combine, there is much ground to cover, and in fact, I hope to institute a series of useful bulletins in the days ahead. However, for now, we will have to content ourselves with some relatively meager exposition. The destabilization of the City-17 reactor has had repercussions that were not entirely unexpected. Although we hardly dared speak this hope ahead of time, the destructive pulse forced a damper on the entire network of links. systems based on that technology. and supply with the larger forces. Even I blame so, you, there is greater reason for hope now I'm than at any time in the past decade. We have made, in secret, several words. technological advances which we will do our best to deploy in advance of the Combine's return. So we continue to diligently assemble and train a new generation of scientists and technicians. For what the Combine fear the most is not any tangible human weapon, but our will, our intellect, our ability to respond selectively and rationally to every terror they turn against us. We place our firmest hope in the human even knowing how easily they may be shattered. We have all seen friends and family crushed by the Combine. Some of our neighbors have allowed themselves to be co-opted and purged of their humanity by the military the machine. Weather? And those who resisted have met a most I don't terrible Green, fate. But I do miss his show. Remember when he had the Ducklers on? This is gonna sound crazy. Still, I cannot overstate how important it is that we retain our humanity. Only this will allow us to hold together as we must for their inevitable return. And what is said, though, yes, if you missed any part of this message, it will loop repeatedly until there is no point in looping it any longer. I apologize for any inadvertent errors or omissions. As you can imagine, we have had scarcely time to record, let alone rehearse. What's that, Eli? Oh, right. This has been Dr. Isaac Kleiner, formerly of Black Mesa, now simply a citizen, like all of you of Earth. Let me just add to all those who can hear me now, as we struggle out of the shadow of our malefactors, welcome back to the light. Now, where did I put that calculator? Careful, Lamar. 
Amar, these lamps are quite hot. Is this on? Yes. Very well. I... I am not much of a public speaker, but I'll... I'll do my best. Fellow citizens, residents of City 17 and environs, by which I mean the sentient residents of course, the human and although I believe there is little need to explain recent developments to our Vortigaunt allies. At any rate, <clears throat> first, as a matter of great urgency, if you find yourself still within the confines of City 17, you are well advised to leave the city at once by the fastest means available to you. We have restored service to much of the commuter transport system in order to carry citizens out of the city as quickly as possible. We have also established camps and triage areas in the surrounding environs. I repeat, you must evacuate the city at once. While there was certainly a great benefit in destroying the Citadel's teleport... <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Kleiner. Gordon! Alex? I don't believe it. How the hell did you get out of the Citadel? We're not exactly sure. All I know is the Vortigaunts had something to do with it. But what about you, Barney? I'm doing okay, just going crazy trying we to... Found us. Aw, hell, Gordon, were you followed again? We stole some information from the Citadel on our way out. I don't know what it is yet, but it's important enough that they've been hounding us the whole way here. Well, that puts the pressure on. Look, we gotta get moving. You guys know about the evacuation trains, right? Yeah. Yeah, well, we've been planning to make a push on the train station. Now it looks like we're gonna have to cut a path through every chicken ship metro cop who's having second thoughts about defending City 17. If Gordon and I took a separate route, we could draw the Combine away from you. That'd give you a chance to get the trains filled up before we get there. Really? Well, if you say so. Now, come here, look over here. Okay, across this bridge, over the rooftops, is a safe path to the station. You two head that way. I'll hit the streets and round up everyone who's been waiting. We'll meet you there. Sounds good. Let's go. Hey, Gordon, before you go. I was getting tired of carrying this around. Listen, I don't have many more of these, so try not to lose this one, okay? <laughs> Go on across, Gordon. She's waiting for you. You lucky dog, you. Shut up. <laughs> See you at the station. Go ahead, get back.
Jordan, you're a real terror. Think it's dead? Maybe you should whack it with a crowbar just in case. Again. much for medical supplies. I found a shotgun.
you okay? Oh god, more zombies! What are you doing, Alex? What are you doing me? Blood toxin levels detected in automatic radio systems engaged. Morphine administered. User dead imminent vital signs are dropping. Right, okay. What about those things? down there, Gordon. I got a bit swamped. I see you did all right without me.
Ten minutes to go, James. Find yourself still Train within station. the confines of on to us. Better find Barney and get moving. There you are. I wondered if you were gonna make it in time. Sorry to keep you waiting. The combine's on our tail. What's the plan? I'm sending folks out in groups. Now, like I said before, if you can keep them safe and provide cover, we might actually stand a chance of reaching the escape trains. Sounds good. Send out the first group. Here we go. Well, uh, Freeman, ammo! Take this medkit. I don't think this war is ever going to end.
insurance. Look, <laughs> Paul, do you want to get out of this city or not? Ooh. 